Hi, my name is Jeremy, also known as Coach Jeremy Draws on YouTube, and this is the place where we teach, learn, and draw digital art together um, through Procreate. Uh, and this week we're going to be drawing a character immersed in a background. Um, and I just got back from Costa Rica, so I'm in quarantine. But this is an amazing um, opportunity to do more YouTube and to teach and to learn more art. So it took me a little while to figure out what I was, um, what kind of background you guys wanted me to draw today, but I ended up just drawing um, a figure and then just running with it. And I actually ended up just drawing myself sitting down, um, super intuitive. And then I started adding, like playing with backgrounds later. And I decided because I coach, because I'm a swim coach, um, how awesome would it be to record that experience? It's been so amazing and so unique. And I don't know if I will always be a swim coach. So this is a unique time and I love and appreciate every second of it. And so this video is dedicated towards that. And so you can definitely just visualize the character I drew last week and right into the, into the video. So I just drew a pool and then lots of swimmers inside and the water. And there's so many amazing elements to this piece. I think one of my favorite elements of a drawing is lighting and playing with um, different shadows created by different objects, looking at the negative positive space and seeing how shadows can really transform a piece. Same thing with reflections and I think water inherently has a lot of reflections and there's lots of shadows created by a pool, uh, by umbrellas and by people and so I got really excited and I think I jump started that way too early. Um, I actually advise to do the shadows, the lighting after you finish the drawing. So I started way too early in this project, go last, do the lighting last. Um, it will save you so much time. So today's a little bit different. I want to try new um, and different video formats while I'm still a green YouTuber. Still fresh, still springy. Um, so I'm just drawing the summers in the foreground with a blue brush rather than a black brush just because I thought it'd be interesting. Um, I'm going to basically start with the basics. I really wanted to have one um, piece kind of finished or at least um, have a little bit more detail on it so I could orient and direct the rest of the drawing. I decided to actually have more detail on the character than the background, and the background's a little bit more blurry, done in a little bit different of a style, um, just to create emphasis and to um, show the contrast between the character and the background. Okay, so you'll see that I use predominantly red, blue, and yellow in this work, meaning I use a triadic color wheel. And another odd thing that you'll notice is that I created, okay, so to create the water that I did, um, I first used one color, I used light blue, and then I went in with a darker blue to emphasize the, the, the edge of the pool where the wall is, because I noticed that's what happens when you have a wall, and then I went on top with the patterns and the reflections of the bubbles. And um, if you just look at my drawing, and I'm really bad at this, but I think um, a co composition that I used was um, an oval, or a circular composition because um, the caps and the faces, the, word, the way that the people are located resembles a circle or a group. And so I think um, an element of art that I use in this design process is unity because the yellow caps uh, were able to create the composition and create flow. So that that's my high school art talking. Uh, but what I found was that this process really helped me to think about, um, I think putting a character into background is relevant because it tells you more about that character. And in any sort of um, storytelling art form, um, the background, the setting, um, kind of insinuates and adds like a, um, like a, almost like a second meaning to the story. It, it definitely adds to the plot, to the, to the feeling, the mood, how um, things are being translated and can definitely go into a lot of deeper metaphorical um, like analysis when you're looking at art, looking at anime, manga, cartoons, because the uh, the background, just it, it just adds so much. So setting is really important in developing who your character is. And I actually recommend that when you ever design a character that you always think about where they belong. What background would they exist in? What kind of story would that character be in? So definitely go ahead and add that in. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate you for staying to the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Remember, I want to reach 100 subscribers at the end of the month. Thank you.